Good morning, Redemptive St. Jared. Good morning, Redemptive St. Jared. Are you ready? Now, today, did you, did you see what's going on outside? The church, the school, the weather is beautiful, right? Yes? That means we're in the beauty of God. The autumn, the fall is beautiful season. So we thank God for the beauty, the good weather. We thank God for God's gift of faith. Okay, so today, let us get ready because the theme for us today, Jesus asked each one of us, who do you say that I am? So I'd like you to come up with two questions here. Who is your hero? Who is your role model? Yes? Think a little bit. Okay? So if you want to be one day, you want to grow up, you want to be somebody, do you have a role model? Yes? Do you have a hero? And the second question here is, how that person could become a hero? How could that person become a hero for you, yes? So think about those two questions. Who is your hero or your role model? And the second question is, how did that person become a hero? You remember the questions? Yes? All right, let us stand now and let us pray together the prayer of uh, St. Jerry Family League prayer. Together we say, very loud, okay? Very loud. Pray for not just for ourselves, for our family, but also all families in our world today. Though our students need the prayer card too. You okay? All my choir, you need to memorize this prayer because you're up here, okay? So just pray after uh, the prayer that we cite together. Great protector of the family. Everybody say, no, together, together. Great protector of the family, St. Jared, we ask your prayers for all parents that they may receive the grace to live in the love of God and bring up the children to know and love him with all their hearts. We ask you to pray that those who take the lives of the unborn innocents and attack the dignity of parenthood may come to see the error of their ways and that all may value the holiness of Christian family life. Louder. God, our loving Father, your life gives life to the world. Bless and make holy all human love, especially the life-given love of fathers and mothers. May your love fill the hearts and homes of all families so that the world may enjoy the peace and happiness promised by your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Mother of perpetual help, St. Joseph, St. Jared, and now let us begin our liturgy with beautiful music. So sing with them. everybody
for you. They have to they have to work harder and sing harder with the mask on so thank you very much my students maybe next time you spread out a little bit and take the mask off so that you can sing easily so thank God for your beautiful voice beautiful heart and beautiful mind so today let us together ask the Lord to bless us our whole being our family, our country, and we say in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And so my brothers and sisters, let us give thanks to God with Alleluia, and then we give thanks to God with our words, with our knowledge, with our love. Today, Jesus asked each one of us, who do you say that I am? because our answer matters. And so let us think a little bit and ask the Lord to give us a little bit of recollection, memory, that sometimes we forgot. And so we ask God for courage, for mercy, and forgiveness. So repeat after me. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated to listen carefully to the Word of God. A reading from the book of Haggai. In the second year of King Darius, on the 21st day of the seventh month, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. Tell this to the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, son of Sheatel, and to the high priest Joshua, son of Jehozadak, and to the remnant of the people who is left among you that saw this house in its former glory. And how do you see it now? Does it not seem like nothing in your eyes? But now take courage, Zerubbabel, says the Lord. And take courage, Joshua, high priest, son of Jehozadak. And take courage, all you people of the land, says the Lord. And work, for I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. This is the pact that I made with you when you came out of Egypt, and my spirit continues in your midst. Do not fear, for thus says the Lord of hosts, one moment yet a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all the nations, and the treasures of all the nations will come in, and I will fill this house with glory says the Lord of hosts. Mine is the silver and mine the gold, says the Lord of hosts. Greater will be the future glory of this house than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give you peace, says the Lord of hosts. Thanks, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Hoping God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Hoping God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Do me justice, O oh God, and fight my fight against a faithless people. From the deceitful and impious man rescue me. Hoping God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. For you, O oh God, are my strength. Why do you keep me so far away? Why must I go about in mourning with the enemy oppressing me? Hoping Hope God, God, I will praise him, my savior and my God. For you, O oh God, are my strength. Why do you keep me so far away? Why I must go about in the morning with the enemy opposing me, hoping Open God, God I will praise Him, my God, God, my Savior, Savior and my God. my God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowd say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others, Elijah, Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? 
Peter said in reply, the Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. The gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. So, you still remember my questions? Yeah? So who is your hero? Anybody? Give me a good one here. All right, let's see here, one first. God! Wow! Give her applause here, please. Yeah. Now, since you say God, how do you think God become your hero? You have a beautiful answer. I want you to stand up and say it right here. He saves everybody and he loves everybody. He saved everybody and he loved everybody. Wow, one more applause, please. I don't know how many A's should I give you. Maybe five A's for that answer. Anybody else? Yes? God loves everyone more than you love yourself. How about that one? That's another round of applause. Thank you, brother. Yes, my student now, they're getting better and better now. Yes, please stand up and shout it out. Jesus is your role model, how he becomes your role model. He, he removed your sins, beautiful. Thank you guys, another round of applause. Any other one? You are so holy, yes. No? Can't hear you? Your mom, very good. We have to say it louder because mommy's sitting right there. Why mommy becomes your hero? Can't hear you. Hold on. She always has my back and she loves me. And I love her for eternity. Because she always loved me. Beautiful. You know, another round of applause. Yes. Yes. God takes care of us. God takes care of us. How he takes care of you? With love, okay. God. Because he gave us his only son. Here. This is another preacher here. Woo. God bless you. Another one. Now, you surprise me, my students. You surprise me. You know why? You say, why? Because I thought that you said Michael Jordan, uh, LeBron, James, Oh, uh, who's a good football player here? Uh-huh. But you don't even mention their names. You mention God. You mention Jesus. You mention your mom. That's a beautiful. Now, if your mom and your dad, your grandpa or papa or mama, if they could hear you say that they are your heroes, they could die today. You know why? Because they already achieved their dreams. That they lived their lives in a way that you could follow their footsteps. Yes? Amen to that? Amen. But you go even higher, my students. You go to God. A holy God is your role model. And you already gave me the answer how. Because God loves me. Because God redeems me. Because God take care of me. Amen to that? 
Now, Father Ted can stop right here, no more homily, because you already got it. Now, Jesus today asked the disciples, who do you say that I am? What is the answer from Peter? Anybody remember? If you can remember, Father Ted will give out one dollar. No. Peter said what? You are the... You are the... Ha. Huh. You see, when, Jesus, when Father Dad didn't ask a question, you didn't pay attention. You better pay attention. Every word of God, when, word, when God said something, it must be important. And so Peter said what? You are the Lord, but give me an exact statement from Peter. No, you are the, start with the C, H, C, H. No, yes, with the red. You are the Christ of, of, with a G. Jesus? No, with a G. With a G, you are the Christ of? Of God. Christ means Messiah. Christ means the anointed one. Christ means, what does it mean to be the Christ? Anybody? Give me a good description. Because Jesus, yes, is our role model, our redeemer, our God. But how did Jesus become our role model? Give me a full description that Jesus became our role model because he sacrificed his soul to us. He sacrificed very good. He, something else, yes. He, he provided us, he, he died for us, but before he died for us on the cross, what happened to him? He got beat up very good. He suffered. And sometimes people insulted him, yes? Sometimes they don't listen to him. Even his disciple didn't get it. And the disciple didn't like to be suffered sometimes back then. But after Jesus died and resurrected, they independent day by themselves, all of the apostles suffer, die, and even martyr on the cross. They sacrifice because of them. We are here. Amen to that? Amen. Now, so, every hero had to go through suffering. Yes or no? Now, how many of you here want to become a hero one day? I hope everyone raised your hand. You know why? Because if you and I just live for ourselves and then we beautiful and we handsome, we smart, but we don't help anybody, we don't care for anybody, we don't love anybody, we don't respect anybody, then what? Then we die, and then after we die, we under six feet, nobody even cares. Yes, but if we live our lives for others, what happens? What happened? We go into heaven, we stay alive. What happened to Dr. Monkin Jr.? Did he die? Yes, but his spirit, his life, his sacrifice, always with us, yes? How about our saint, Saint Jared? Saint Jared, all the saints, they don't die. Even we die one day, we die with just, just a new stage of life. And so today, my brothers and sisters, especially my children, if you chose God as your hero, your God, you and I have to be like him. Now, how many of you very happy and say, hey, you look like him or you look like her? You're not very happy, right? Say, but you look like God. How do you feel? 
How do you feel that people say that you look like your hero? You look like God. Wow. Jesus today, when he asked, he was surprised by Peter. You are the Christ of God. Surprised. Because that is the ultimate hero that Jesus could hear from Peter. So today, let us practice our faith, our love, our hope. We need to be like Jesus. Amen to that? We need to be like Jesus by sacrifice our life now. How do you can sacrifice your life now? Anybody give me an excellent answer. How can you sacrifice your life so that you become a hero for others? Give me a good answer. Is take your body parts for somebody else that don't have them. Okay, so you take on a little bit of work responsibility. Anybody else? Give me a good, practical answer that you could do every day now. You don't have to wait until you're 20 or 30 or 50 like Father Ted. Can, can you do something now to sacrifice? Take care of the um, older people. Take care of older people including your teachers too, right? Yes. Listen to your teacher. Respect your teacher. Learn from your teacher. Amen to that? Anybody else? One more. Help others. Very good. Tell people about God, how beautiful God is. Okay? When you see a beautiful weather, Remember God. When you see something happening in the world, pray for them because God loves the poor, God loves the sick, God loves the elderly, God loves children. All the minor, all the voiceless, God is with them all the time. And so when you're smart, when you're intelligent, when you're the best in your class, don't be so arrogant. But remember, without my teacher, I can't do nothing. Without my parents, I can't be here. Without God, I can't even be existing in our world today. Amen to that, my students. So my students of St. Jerry Redemptorist, we need to live our faith every day, every day, so that we praise the Lord every day. Amen. I want to thank God for all my readers today because they read so well. Just give them another round of applause. So well today. And so we ask God to continue to bless each one of us, especially each one of you, so that I can see you growing every day with intelligence, with characters, with virtues, the three H's, remember the three H's? Happy, holy, and healthy. Keep all these three with you so that you can be a hero for others. Amen? Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness we have received this bread to offer you food of the earth and work in human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received this wine to offer you food of the vine and work in human hands. It will become for us the spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Please stand. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good all, holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. So at this moment, I'd like you to concentrate. If you can't concentrate, just close your eyes and ask God to continue to bless you. Thank God for the family and the school and the hero that you have in your heart so that God continue to bless you and our country and our school and our parish today. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in a hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That will the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed Apostles, Saint Jared and all the saints that have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. And so at this moment, let us cry out to God with joy the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. When we pray, we are with God. Yeah? So at this moment, let us bless the Lord, praise the Lord, and ask God to bless our world today with peace and unity, more peace and unity. So let us now open our arms, raise our hearts and our eyes up to heaven and say together, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With Let us share with each other sigh of peace. Together we say, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus Christ the Son of the living God who loved us so much that died on the cross for us, for our sins. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. So those who are Catholic and ready for communion, please come forward to the main aisle. And those who are not, just sit down. Sit down. Thank you. Body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. 
body of Christ. Communant upon, I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Please stand. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with the sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much, my students, teachers, everybody. Thank you for coming. Continue to pray. We thank God for life. Study hard. Have a wonderful weekend. Yes? Take care of yourself. Study. If you need anything, raise your hand so that we can help you. Okay? All right? So... God bless you, and thank you, the choir, for taking care of us. And uh, I have to tell you this, you are very good. You don't make any noises when you put the kneeler down and kneeler up. You are wonderful. So keep going, and if you have any, any dreams that you wanted to accomplish, let us know. We help you to make it come true. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And the Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and joy and glorify the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. One more time.